Hey guys, what's up? So what seemed laughable at first is turning out to be the truth. Last week we heard from an analyst in Berkeley that the iPhone 12 won't have a charger in the box and as absurd as it seems, there is some sense in it. So we already know that Apple is planning to remove the earphones from the box of the iPhone 12 series and I think most of the people won't even mind that now given that Bluetooth earphones are as cheap as wired ones and most of the people have moved to wireless anyway. But the news that Apple will remove the charger from the box is pretty hard to digest. But analyst Ming-Chi Kuo, who is one of the most reputable Apple leakers, has said that Apple won't be including the power adapter in the box of the new iPhones and he goes on to say that Apple might remove the charger from the box of the iPhone SE 2020 as well sometime later this year. Twitter user love to dream also said the same thing so there seems to be something cooking behind the scenes. On top of that, we also have a recent survey from Apple which is asking its users what did they do with their charger from a previous iPhone that they replaced. So this might be to gather some information to make a final decision if they should include it in the box or not. Now if this is implemented and you only get the USB Type-C to lightning cable in the box, it would mean huge profits for Apple as the boxes would be thinner in size as most of the thickness comes from the charging brick and the earphones case that is bundled in the box, removing which will reduce the thickness and Apple can ship a lot more boxes in the same space which lowers the shipment cost. Also, Apple might add the environmental angle to it where they could save a lot of e-waste if they stop bundling these accessories with one of the most popular tech gadgets in the world. Moving on, according to everything Apple Pro and Max find back, the iPhone 12 might be able to record videos at 4K 120fps and 4K 240fps, which should add more versatility and options to an already impressive video recording capabilities of the iPhones. This is found by Max Feinbach in the iOS 14 developer build and is also able to confirm that Apple is testing this feature for the upcoming iPhones which may be restricted to the Pro models this year. This is thanks to the Apple A14 silicon which is powerful enough to handle such a huge amount of data. Also in the news, according to Ming-Chi Kuo, Lagan will be supplying premium 8P camera lenses to Apple in mid-July. Apple will be implementing 8-element plastic lenses in the iPhone 12 series which should improve the camera quality of these iPhones which are bound to get the same resolution 12 megapixel sensors but these are allegedly bigger than previous year's sensors. A bigger sensor combined with better lenses should improve the camera quality. The final piece of news for today has to do with 120Hz on the iPhone 12 series. Display analyst Ross Young has removed the iPhone 12 Pro models from his list of iPhones with 120Hz refresh rate. According to him, none of his sources were able to confirm the presence of 120Hz on this year's iPhones and this is due to the lack of LTPO. The iPhones are scheduled to get LTPO in 2021 and that's what Ross has been adamant about. He believes the iPhones will get ProMotion display in 2021. But we also have Ice Universe who last week said that the iPhone 12 Pro models will have 120Hz refresh rate this year given that no accident occurs. So it's a bit of a dilemma. We can't be sure as of now if the phones will have 120Hz or not. But Ben Kiskin was able to find a setting in the iOS 14 developer build to restrict the refresh rate to 60Hz. Though not everyone is able to see that setting so it might be a bug. I really hope 120Hz is offered this year with the iPhones otherwise I don't see a lot of improvements and I won't be rushing to get one. Lastly, Apple is expected to announce the new iPhones in September as usual but some models may be delayed to October or November due to the global pandemic which has disrupted supply chains. Also in the news, we have the first look at the OnePlus Nord from OnePlus themselves and we get a glimpse of the phone. The front of the phone can be seen in the video and we can clearly see the alert slider and power button on the right while the camera setup on the back with the rounded rectangular camera module and the OnePlus logo is also visible in the video. The phone definitely looks premium and is certainly made of glass and metal which is awesome but the camera housing seems too small to accommodate 4 lenses to me. According to Max J, the phone might get 4 cameras at the back which makes me think if this is just another prototype. What do you think? Is this a real deal? It's worth mentioning that Amazon India is also using this image of the phone on the OnePlus Nord page so this may be the real phone if you get it. That's it for this video, do let me know what do you think about the charger thing down in the comments, smash the like button if you liked it and consider subscribing to the channel for more tech videos. I will see you all in the next one, till then, bye bye and stay safe.